welcome back Arbor League and today I'm going to be showing you some teams you can use for the Spring Cup starting tomorrow. Spring Cup is a Great League Cup with 1500 CP or below that only allows water, grass and fairy types. So like and subscribe and turn notifications on and let's take a look at some teams for the Spring Cup. Taking a look at the typings, it looks like it's going to be a pretty heavy grass dominated meta. There are some water types with a subtyping of poison, flying, ice, bug, or steel. However, the grass damage on it is still neutral, and grass types like Ferrothorn, Abomasnow, or Trevenant cover those weaknesses as well, so it's hard to find a true grass counter. So speaking of grass counters, we see the standings on PV Poke that Galarian Weezing is actually at number one, probably because of the part poison typing, and you need a ground type to really hard counter it, but it's hard with all the grass around. So I wanted to see if this thing can perform and build a team around it. So just go through the Pokemon that are here. I am right. There is a lot of grass here. So again, Ferrothorn is number two. Abomasnow, Tropius, the flying is able to deal with the grass. So that Abomasnow match could go either way. Empoleon is part steel, but still takes neutral to grass. He's pretty... Glassy in the Great League. Pelipper is a flyer, so he takes care of the grass, but still takes neutral to it. Same thing with Tentacruel. He's kind of bulky, and that's the reason why Toxapex is banned, just because it's too bulky for this cup. So we have Tentacruel still taking neutral. Plus, you know, Lantern in all of these matchups here, like Empoleon, Pelipper, like super effective, double super effective, super effective. The waters are not safe. We've still got Tentacruel around. Trevenant is another good one. He deals a lot of neutral damage to all of the grasses. Jumpluff is a flyer that takes care of the grasses. and other. They take four times super effective from the ice, but they still deal super effective with the energy balls. Galissapod, I think, is going to be a, kind of a niche good pick also because of the bug. It's able to deal with the grasses and the waters as well with doing neutral damage with Shadow Claw and Aerial Ace, super effective to the grass and the waters, having neutral damage and resisting things like Walrin. It double resists, or sorry, resists the ice on the water and the ground on the bug. We see coming up here to Weezing number one. We're going to see why it's number one. I mean, I get the overheat, but the overheat is a nuke, so. I guess that's banking on landing the overheats on the grasses, but it still resists because of the poison. So it makes sense that it loses to a lot of the waters here. We're going to see versus the entire spring cup, how it actually fares. So scrolling down here, as I suspected, yeah, we lose to Tentacruel, the ices, the waters that have a part ice typing, Dugong, Pelipper, yeah, Dugong can take care of it. I wouldn't, run water pulse and running a drill run on it and on the dugong if you run drill run you can take care of that poison typing as well and just having overheat and nuke moves it still has a brutal swing as a bait the match with itself could go either way as well although it being fairy it's going to resist that brutal swing and the fairy wind so maybe even the play rough against itself so yeah those Mirror matches are going to be definitely brutal. But then we got some other Pokemon like Poliwrath with the Ferrothorn match could go either way as it is suggesting Mudshot here instead of Counter. But I think Counter is probably best in this situation. So really we just need something to hard counter the Poisons, the Ice, and the like Dugong, the Pelipper. So that's why I think... Picking Ferrothorn makes sense in this scenario. So we're going to go over here to Team Builder. Scroll down to the Spring Cup. And our first Pokemon that we're adding is going to be the Galarian Weezing. And I'm not going to do Brutal Swing. I've played the Sims out with some of these Pokemon. And I've even taken it into Great League as you're going to see. So then their next Pokemon is going to be the Ferrothorn. And instead of Flash Cannon, we are going to be running Thunder. Now Flash Cannon does super effective to Galarian Weezing, but Thunder you get to a little sooner. With Bullet Seed, I know Bullet Seed is quick charging, but 
Weezing resisting it. You could go mirror shot as well. Mirror shot also gets the debuff. Uh, potential for uh, debuffing the defense. So we're going to rate this team. And we see already we're off to an amazing start here. We have A for coverage, B for bulk, A for safety, and B for consistency. So this is really off to a good start. These are just the meta scorecards. But what I usually like to scroll all the way down to is what our threats are. That way we know what to cover. So we see Galarian wheezing. Yeah, it against the mirror could go either way against Ferrothorn. Now it does have access to overheat. So again, that match could go either way, if, depending on your moveset. Trevenant, we are kind of weak to because the Shadow Claws do neutral, but we do have access to Brutal Swing and Overheat on the Galarian Weezing. We do resist the Seed Bombs and the Shadow Balls are going to hurt, so as long as you know your move counts and play the guessing game of when and when not to shield, you're looking alright. Pelipper here, we can take care of it on the Feral Thorn. We do have access to Thunder. So as you can see here, we what we want is is to cover each other's weaknesses. So we don't want to see two of the same um, circles, right? Because then that means we lose to both of them, like the Trevenant here. So scrolling down the list here, we're doing okay. Having an O and an X means you can you know, switch out of a bad matchup or safe swap. So this is looking pretty good so far. So they're going to be Galarian Weezing, which is weak to ground. Trevenant is going to be weak to the ice. Pelipper, we could have a electric or something else that deals with flying, so another ice. So I'm seeing a lot of maybe ice ground here because we have ice for the grass. Abominus, abominus snow, abominable snowman. We have the icy wind we can lower attack with if they do decide to throw the energy ball. We have the tentacruel that's weak to ground. Dugong is pretty good. Looking, jump fluff. So a lot of things are weak to ice and ground. So to me, that stood out as having dugong. So we're going to go back up here to the team, or scroll up to the top here. And I think dugong is like pretty bulky. And in my opinion, it's a better walrin. It gets to its ice and ground moves sooner. So we type in dugong here, and we are going to go drill run. We're not going to go water pulse, as there are going to be a lot of other waters and grass around. I know drill run, oh yeah, grass, but trust me. <laughs> so we're going to rate the team here and see how we do. And we go from A, B, A, A. So one of the best teams, I think, to run in the Spring Cup. So we see, scroll down here through the meta card. And again, we don't want to see three circles. We want to operate this kind of as an A, B, B team. So we see as a Galarian Weezing here, we can take care of it on the Dugong, the Feral Thorn. We got XXO, right? That same kind of pattern. At least we want to see a two out of three. That's the best case scenario. We don't want to see three huge white circles. <laughs> then that's a definitive loss. Aside from Alolan Ninetales here. So we beat that actually on all three of our Pokemon. That's pretty awesome. Another one, a Hisuian Electrode, if that decides to show up. So this team actually looking pretty good we're scrolling down here to our potential threats so again we don't want to see the three circles we're still looking for two out of three two out of three you know something that we can safe swap into so we these kind of matches if it's a soft loss we have to stay in then we can hard counter it with our pokemon in the back and it's basically rock paper scissors to what else they have with this kind of matchup here it's a hard loss. So again, that's our decision. We either safe swap into Dugong or stay in the horrible matchup and maybe recover somehow by throwing Ferrothorn onto the Empoleon. And Empoleon in this meta probably going to be running Steel Wing as there are a lot of grass that it does neutral to aside from Waterfall. But in my opinion, like I've actually recently tried Empoleon and Steel Wing, you start losing other water matchups as well. You don't get to Hydro Cannons you know, as quick or deal as much damage. So it's, I think Empoleon still might be running some Waterfall. 
this Trevenant matchup, we do have to stay in, I guess, with Glaring Weezing and then come in with Dugong, depending what they have in the back. We beat Venusaur, so they will swap out, so we can swap into one of ours. Same idea down the line. So again, this looking like a pretty good ABB team, ABA style, pretty balanced, pretty good coverage, pretty good team all around. So I also thought about swapping Lantern for Dugong as well, because Dugong does lose to Lantern, so Lantern could be good for those other water matchups. I think we might lose some points for this, but I think it might operate very similar. You still have to watch out for that drill run coming from the Dugong or the Earthquake from the Walren. But as you can see here, BBB, I know we do lose a couple points here, but I think it's still going to operate very similar to our team. So as we can see here, we're looking okay. Same kind of ABB style. We still hard counter Alolan Ninetales all the way through. We don't hard counter Hisuian Electrode all the way through, so we lose that matchup. But that's totally okay. Looking at our potential threats here, again, we might start losing the Trevenant a little more because we do lose that ice coverage. So that's where Dugong steps in is that, hey, I, you know there's still grass out there, so we still have that ice coverage. Those matches could go either way, but because Dugong is pretty bulky, we do save those matchups. Lantern and Dugong still could be interchanged in this team. So we're going to take a look at how this team operates in the Open Great League. So yeah, I did it in Open Great League just to get a gist of how it operates. So up against us Alola Ninetales here that we could also see in the Spring Cup, and that's what I found. People were still running kind of springy cups, minus the Scrafty here. So now we're locked onto the Scrafty, not too bad. Not too good either, as these counters are doing super effective, tearing us apart. The Power Punch will not KO, neither will the Foul Play, but it will boost their attack and be really scary for us. But we do get to the next Power Whip, and this will do a solid amount of chip damage, but Scrafty is still bulky. Power Whip from the Ferrothorn still KOs the Scrafty and able to take Switch from a Fighter. So Ferrothorn, amazing, in the Open Great League, also dealing with this sub-ice typing of Alolan Ninetales. So now that we've taken Switch, we can throw our Lantern on here and align it perfectly. Now, all they could hurt us with is maybe like Psy Shock or Dazzling Gleam, but that wasn't near enough. So we are going to let the potential Weather Ball... Oh, sorry, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. I shielded that up just in case it was a Dazzling Gleam. I guess I wasn't counting. But either way, we get to the Surf. We could throw the Thunderbolt as well, but I just wanted to get some chip damage off on here. Maybe even farm down and take this next Weather Ball. So I'm definitely not going to shield anything anymore. Even a Psy Shock won't hurt as much. They still only made it to the Weather Ball, so we're able to farm down this Alola Ninetales. They still have two shields, but we have to see what's in the back. And it's an Azumarill. So we have this absolutely walled. So we can swap into we here in a little bit just to make them waste their energy so we're going to build up a little bit of energy get a shield from them and make them waste their energy here nothing here quite ko's hydro pump is still hard hitting as well but we'll have to see that it does not ko wheezing but we are able to get to the play rough and they still have a shield this play rough will not hurt a zoom roll either because the zoom roll is still pretty bulky but it still does a solid amount of chip damage we get bubbled down and all we need to do is just build up to back to back surfs here we don't need to worry about going for that thunderbolt all we need to do is shield up an ice beam outpace them to the ice beam and hopefully we do so throw on good timing to not allow any bubbles in First Surf will be getting the shield from the Azumarill. The second Surf, I think from this range that they are pretty low, will KO. We have to see, does Lantern KO the Azumarill? Yes, it does, and this team proves to be solid. We're still getting that 4-1 there just to prove this team does work in the Open Great League. So these teams are very versatile that I'm going to be showing you. All three of them work in the Spring Cup and the Open Great League. So we're going to take a look at the next way that you could use Weezing. Looking over here on PV Poke, Glaren Weezing's traits, spammy, flexible, dynamic, shield pressure, defensive to me, that says safe swap. So we could use him on the safe swap. The problem is there's only one other fairy that we have in this meta, which is Mawile. So I'm going to try to build a double fairy backline with it. So kind of the same reasoning as before, Glaring Weezing is weak to all the waters. So I still think that the Lantern core is pretty good. So we're going to try this with Lantern on the lead. So now we're really weak to grass in the front. We're not too bad against waters on the lead either. 
maybe other lantern leads. So we're gonna put wheezing in the safe swap position back here. And we're still going to have overheat on it. I just like the coverage. I mean, Brittle Swing hits a lot of things for neutral. That's its spammy trait. And the other steel type, like I said, is going to be Mawile. Now I have the shadow version, but it's up to you whether you want to use the shadow or not. Oh, that's Machamp. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mawile. <laughs> there we go. Have the right move set. We can have Play Rough or Iron Head. Iron Head could do a lot of damage, but it's about the same cost as Play Rough. So we're just going to go with Fire Fang Power Up Punch because the Fire Fang hits a lot of the grass. And with the likes of Ferrothorn and Obama Snow, four times effective, four times super effective damage. So we're going to go ahead and rate this team here. Now it does have a little bit of a lesser rating, but any kind of ABB team is going to. You're just looking for consistency. I'm okay with having a B consistency because at least a team is going to perform at the same rate as long as you know how to operate it. The coverage does drop a little bit, but it's still we're just looking for a good uh, general coverage here. And we still want to see that ABB pattern, right? The X double O or O double X. The optimum is like this, like how we hard win. Or if we hard lose, then we safe swap into something where we don't take as big of a loss. But it's just to either get shields or switch advantage if we can flip that. And then have the hard counter lined up in the back and the front as well. So I like this pattern. We kind of beat Araquanid on all accounts here. Alola Ninetales, again, Victory Bell. But I'm liking this ABB pattern here. So this is very consistent. Still looking like a pretty good team. So for the potential threats here, we do have Carbink, but we can handle that on the Lantern. That's why the not filled in circle is like a soft loss. We do show like a hard loss against all three, but we can sort of deal with that with Lantern in the front. We can get maybe a couple shields or a shield with Surf because it still does neutral damage. I don't think we're going to be seeing too many of the Mud Boys though because of the grass showing up. So where we might still having pro be having problems down here is maybe glaring wheezing mirrors. But again, we have two Pokemon in the back that can handle that. Palpatode isn't very common. Lantern leads, lantern mirror leads, again, might be a little bit of a problem though. Empoleon we can beat. We lose in the back, but at least we heard well in the front. So I'm still liking this pattern. This is what you want to see. X double O, X double O. So the point is to bait out something in the back that you lose to so you can line it up with your hard counters later. So this is still looking like a pretty good team. As we can see, B for consistency. And again, PV Poke doesn't take into the account of the usage of the Pokemon. So because the Mud Boys aren't as prominent in this meta, I think this is still a pretty good consistent team. So we're going to see how this next team operates in the Open Great League. And again, you could go either Lantern or Dugong. In this case, it would be good because we have a Dragonair, but we safe swap into the Lantern and we're met with Stewing and Pulling on. Not great, but again, Overheat hits like a truck and it is neutral damage to Empoleon. So Empoleon will have to shield. They could probably farm us down at this point, but they're going to throw. And I think I decided to let this go through. Yeah, it's just a drill pack because we don't even make a move and we can come in with Lantern. We fully wall this here. So even with Waterfall, they'd probably reach the moves a little quicker. But now with Steel Wing, I mean, both are resisted because of Steel on the water. But we're able to completely wall Empoleon. So in the Spring Cup, this is applicable. So we will be able to farm Empoleon all the way down, resisting all its moves. Drill Peck and Hydro Cannon. And come out with 100 energy. So Dragonair comes back in and we're able to get this Thunderbolt off. I've also told you the idea of like, you know, how about Niantic give... Uh, lantern an ice move like maybe ice beam or blizzard would be kind of interesting because it's kind of walled by grass so this uh, aqua tail is going to do neutral damage to us but we're able to boost up our attack and almost farm down the dragonair but we still have two shields we're almost out of move so i can decide to shield this up and see what they have in the back 
So dragging out in the front. What the Empoleon comes back in, but we're going to throw this power up punch here. This will boost our attack, getting rid of the Empoleon. And there's a Drapion in the back. We do reach another power up punch here. These poison stings are neutral because of the part steel typing of the Fairy Mawile. But we get another shield out for a potential play rough. But we're able to get the massive fire fang damage through. So this is okay with us. We still have a shield, but Drapion charges so quickly. So they're going to bait us with the Aqua Tail and win cmp on the crunch but this is a rank one lantern lantern able to take the crunch survive on one hp and a dream and they get the unnecessary defense drop so lantern able to close this one for us on one hp and a dream another team really well for again open great league and spring cup so one more team that we are going to take a look at is i always like using shadow mawile just because it has fire fang. So it core breaks a lot of teams, a lot of the steels, a lot of the grass, and it even does well against the waters that are part ice. So we're gonna take a look at its stats here. It's rated number 30. So let's see what it's below here. So above it we have Carbink is sort of rough unless you have Iron Head, uh, Glissopod, Dugong, um, Trevenant, so I'm predicting, yeah, just a lot of the waters, right? So Ferrothorn, four times effective. Obama Snow, the ice, right? Four times effective. Trevenant, super effective. It even beats Raquinin. Now, unless you get the debuff, I guess, doesn't matter. Equals out with the power up punches, but you could run Fairy Wind on this, but then you lose the coverage with Fire Fang. I don't know if you still win those matchups, so we're just for going to take a look at Mawile versus the Shadow Cup versus the Spring Cup. Scroll back up here. I don't think I said it right. <laughs> Little League, Great League. Why is it not letting me... Spring Cup. Mawile, Mawile, Shadow versus the Spring Cup. Why is it not letting me do... So we're just going to get straight into the battles here, into the Open Great League. My PV Pokey broke for whatever reason, and I'm not able to see the standings. However, we're just going to try this out. So up against the Gudra here, that did get a buff of... Uh, Aqua Tail. Bubble Beam does lower the defense, but as we can see here, the Aqua Tail does a lot more damage, which makes this match a little better. So I'm going to get to the play rough here, hoping for a shield or the KO. Totally okay with me. This is what uh, Mawile was for, resisting those Dragon Breaths. Not able to get to the next moves. I will shield this up, and I think I might be able to reach a power up punch at least, because that seemed a while that they built up. Not quite sure of the new counts yet, but almost able to get to that power up punch, and they beat us to the move. So I'm just going to let this go through. Even if I survive, that's fine. We don't. We are able to come in with Tentacruel, resist the Aqua Tail, and even if they throw a Pyro Whip at us, it will be neutral. But they don't make it and get farmed down, and we have to see what's in the back. Not too much of a Spring Cup as a Treasure Bug comes in. I thought I had Sludge Wave on this, but we just had the Acid Spray. Nonetheless, we're getting a shield, so this next Scald will KO. They will outpace us to the move, but we got that poison jab through, so we will be able to shield up and take out the bulky charge bug with a scald. So we over farm just by one, and this will be taking care of the charge bug with the defenses down and shields down. And there's just a feraligator in the back, not going to make it to the scald or the poison, uh, the uh, acid spray either as we get hit by a hydro cannon get taken out but we've got a completely healthy lantern in the back now even if for alligator had crunch this is still a positive match but they do not so i'm just gonna flex and farm them all the way down so this team's still good even in the open great league as you can tell we are getting that 5-0 from that last set and we get the marini so the cup that we have it banned in we are getting the rewards for it so that's lovely thanks a lot niantic but we still have tentacruel which is a worthy runner-up so three very easy teams to use for Spring Cup, even in Open Great League. 
each team having decent coverage over the meta, very consistent, and we saw both bulky and more frail Pokemon do well. Played mostly in ABB style, hopefully this gave you some ideas of teams to use, ideas to start from and build your own, or teams that will be out there so you know what to counter and build yours around them. Let me know in the comments, will you guys be playing Spring Cup, and what teams do you think will do well? If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn notifications on. It lets you know when I post and it keeps me in the algorithm and I appreciate all the support. And don't forget to check out the Discord. Come test out some teams on stream and hang out in a like-minded welcoming community. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I've been Randy and I'll see you buds in the next one.